Hey YouTube, it's Steve from San Francisco. Today is Friday, August 26th, 2022. And I wanted to make a video about this. Politics is just like professional, professional wrestling. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you how it is. All right, you have good guys and you have bad guys in politics and wrestling. In wrestling, a bad guy is a heel and a good guy is a baby face, okay? And look at what's going on now. Um, when Donald Trump was running in 2016, and even before then, um, back in the 80s, everybody in the 80s and 90s, everybody liked Donald Trump. All right. Then he ended up running for president in 2016. And it's they made him look like a bad guy. Yeah. All right, just driving. So, okay, you can compare them and it's similar. It's politics, it's political theater. Everybody likes to watch the news or CNN and they talk about politics. They draw you in. Same with professional wrestling. They go to town to town, city to city, and they always want to see the bad guy lose. So, like in the old days, WCW, they used to have Ric Flair wrestle Lex Luger. And Lex Luger was supposed to be the challenger for the belt. And every time that Lex Luger had a match with Ric Flair, something always happens. And they go to town, they go to the next town, and they say, oh, we're going to have a cage match next week. They try to draw people in. That's what it's all about. Drawing the people in. So, and another word, another thing is, we're wrestling. Um, back in the 80s, it was really big. They had Hulk Hogan. They had the Ultimate Warrior back in those days. Bret Hart. Um... Andre the Giant, Adrian Adonis. Yeah, they had all demolition was another one, the tag team. They they were popular and they drawed people in. Okay. The same thing with politics. Trump Biden rivalries. Uh, like, look at Trump. He draws in his crowd, the mega rallies, a lot of people. But it seems like Joe didn't even draw. It, it was like a WCW, the last name WCW. They could even draw a beer hall. That's how it was. So... Man, there's too much traffic here. So he kept it low key. Not that many people went to his Biden's rallies. Okay, back with wrestling. Okay. Yeah, Hulk Hogan was a big draw. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Um, back in the WWF. 
back in like 1986 through 1990. Okay, but it's it's all a show. Wrestling is all a show. And they came up with names for these characters. Okay, Hulk Hogan, his real name's Terry Balea. Just a person. Then you have the Ultimate Warrior. His real name was James Helwig. All right, and he legally changed his name to Warrior. And they drew, they drew a lot of fans. They sell, this is how they do to popularity. T-shirts sales, toys, um, action figures. Then every time they go to a, go to a town, they say, oh, the big match should be Hulk Hogan versus Roddy Roddy Piper. Then they have the match, Piper gets disqualified, and they go to the next town, and they draw, or they say, watch next week on NBC, Saturday Night's Main Event. Piper has a match with Hogan. It was an MTV special back in 1985, and it was a, I guess it was a disqualification but they kept on, they kept on going with it. They kept on, they kept on pushing it, pushing it, drawing in the people for the wrestling shows, okay? Same thing with the Warrior. They had the Warrior and Rick Root feud for the Intercontinental title. Next town, Warrior gets disqualified, Rude gets disqualified. They, and they have a cage match, and they say, oh, next week there'll be a cage match so people would show up. That's how it is. And same thing with politics. All right, in 2020, they made Donald Trump look like the heel, the bad guy. The pandemic, this pandemic, um, all this stuff was going on. He wanted, they made him look bad. The media did. So they hype up, they hype up Joe Biden. They made him look like the good guy. He's gonna shut down the virus. He had, he said some good things to draw in people. He was gonna shut down the virus, more jobs, um, shut down the pipeline, more renewable energy like solar or electric cars. He was running on. So they really pushed them. They really did. But look, this doesn't make sense. Trump drew more people. Biden didn't draw that many people. He was hiding in his basement all through the summer of 2020. And they still, that's suspicious. They still had him, they installed him to be president. That's what I believe. Okay, so it's like in wrestling, a battle royal, a royal rumble, somebody hiding under the ring all through the royal rumble and gets out at the end, throws the guy, other guy over the top rope and ends up claiming victory. That's Joe Biden. He was hiding under the ring. That's the, it's the same thing. So, Trump had the advantage because of those rallies. He was, he was pushing everything. He was, he was getting everything going, more people. But Joe, Joe won by sitting in his, sitting in his basement. How does 
that make sense, okay? So, election night happened. The media still making Trump look like the bad guy, all right? So they made him the heel and Joe Biden. It was like a wrestling match. It's just like wrestling. It's all it's all fixed. It's all been pre-planned. And the game plan is to have Biden become president and it's backfiring now. People are regretting voting for Biden. Yeah, people people don't want Biden in the White House after 2024. He might not even be the president after the midterms, okay? And people have lost, even in his own party, people lost respect for him. So this is what's going to happen. They had the raid. I talked about that before with Donald Trump, his raid. They're, his popularity is going to go up. What's, what's going on now? That built his popularity is going to build up. So in 2024, Trump will be the good guy. It's like reverse. Hulk Hogan was a good guy in the 80s, but Roddy Roddy Piper was a bad guy in the night. Like Piper was the bad guy in the 80s. Hogan was a good guy in the in the 80s, and Piper was a good guy in the 90s, and Hogan was a good guy, bad guy in the 90s when they had the New World Order stuff from WCW. It's just like that. Trump's going to have a... Um, how can I say this? They're going to make him look like... He's going to be the good guy. Okay? Inflation's up. The economy's crap. And they're going to have him... Make him be the one to save America. That's it's my prediction in 2024. All right? I believe in a rematch. In 2024. I think that Trump is going to end up demolishing Biden if there's a rematch. Yeah. Trump in 2024, if it's Biden and Trump again, Trump's going to Trump's going to demolish him. It's going to It's going to be like a um a wrestling match between Joe Biden's a puppet. You might as well say that he's like the bar none sock puppet. Remember those commercials, the bar none sock, sock puppet? That's Joe Biden. And and Trump's going to, it's going to be like Hulk Hogan versus a jobber. All right. Biden right now, he's not like a star. He's like a jobber. He's a jobber right now. A jobber's like the, um, one of those guys in wrestling that they had on Saturday mornings, they used to have matches within f less than five minutes. The jobber usually lose to a big star. A jobber is a guy in wrestling that makes the um, star look good or enhance talent. That's what Biden is right now. He's just a jobber. And it's like he's going to have no offense. That's what he is. He's like one of those wrestlers that go in and gets demolished within five minutes. You remember the days when Hulk Hogan went in or the Ultimate Warrior? They have a match against a no-name and they demolish them within... Two minutes. 
That's going to be Trump and Biden the next election. Okay? You see, it's all entertainment, politics and wrestling. That's it. Political theater. That's all you see now. It's crazy. It's all you see, um, <laughs> CNN, they talk bad about Trump, um, MSNBC, it's all fake news, just like wrestling. Wrestling is all a show, all an act, they're all actors. I used to be involved in professional wrestling, but... When my last match was 2012. Yeah. It's just all a show, all an act. Yep. And th this past election in 2020, it was all set up. It all paved the way for Biden to win. Okay. I'll give you a movie that was released a few months ago. Watch 2,000 Mules. These people at the ballot box putting ballots in for Biden. Just look. Look. They handed him the presidency on a silver platter. He didn't earn it. No. 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 You see, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's fucked up. All right? And look at how look at how everything is now. Prices are up. When Trump was president, get a big raise every year. Not this year. Even with inflation. They call it stagflation. And that pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. People are having trouble surviving because of this bullshit. Alright. Okay. Um, that's all I gotta say. America first and full armor of God. God bless. I am out.